What's going on everyone? Hope you're all doing good. Today's video is going to be a quick one. We're going to be talking about and taking a look at the Strike Industries Enhanced Castle Nut and Extended End Plate for the AR-15. I've got mine right here. I don't know if you guys can get a good look at that or not. You'll be able to see it better when we switch camera views. Now, something I just want to get out of the way is that this video is in no way sponsored by Strike Industries or anyone else for that matter. So why don't we go ahead and switch camera views so you guys can get a better look at this setup. Now hopefully you guys can get a good look at this. Although being black against black might make it a little difficult. As you can see, this is quite different from a standard end plate and castle nut. What Strike Industries has done is enhance the castle nut by actually lengthening it which they say is to better support the receiver extension or buffer tube and to improve aesthetics with the extended end plate. Now I can't say for certain whether or not it does help better support the buffer tube, but I can attest to the aesthetics part as I personally think it looks completely awesome. The other benefit to the extended end plate is that the quick detach for your sling is pushed further back away from the webbing of your hand than would be with a flat end plate. This is to help avoid pinching your hand, which I can say has not been a problem for me. I know what you're saying though. What's the downside? And there is one. Basically having the extended end plate and castle nut will eliminate the first position of your adjustable stock or arm brace, which hasn't been a huge concern for me but I can show you right here on mine. This has got the SB Tactical SBA4 five position adjustable arm brace. Right now it's in all the way open, all the way extended at position five. If I push it all the way in, that's position two, and I can't get to position one. So I've got two through five, that's it. And now we're back up top. So going over some of the pros, it's definitely aesthetically pleasing. It helps keep your hand from being pinched when using a sling and supposedly better supports the receiver extension slash buffer tube, whatever you want to call that. Although that last one I can't be for certain, although it does make sense. Um, it comes in four colors, black, red, blue, and FDE or flat dark earth. Now for the cons, which really there's only two. Um, the first being that you lose the first position of your adjustable arm brace or stock. As you can see, this is position two right here. You can't go to position one because the end plate and castle nut are in the way. So um, the second being price, which I think is slightly high, starting at $60.95 for the black one and then $62.95 if you want one of the colored ones. Now, would I buy the Enhanced Castle Nut and Extended End Plate again or recommend it to you? Absolutely, because it works great and it looks darn good at the same time. Now, you guys know the drill. Like, subscribe, comment, share, because without you guys, we can't build this channel. And you don't want to miss some of the things we've got coming up. Train hard, have fun, Stay safe. That's all for today. I'm out.